Good morning. Good morning. How are you? To tell you, this is the great thing and I see your beautiful smile. Always. And that's wonderful, we need that. Yes. We've been doing a lot of research on Google and it's a huge search engine all over the world. Explain to me more about the search engine. Arlene, you know this Google which you asked a beautiful question, a reference to search engine. Google, you know, they have designed this program powerfully, a, a, a beautiful, a powerful search engine and they are most, they are all over the world. I was looking, they are, they are all dealing with about 50 countries in the world. And not only that, every country they divided it, every city and so on. Anyhow, and it's all private because you go on your email, there's a total privacy. I cannot go there unless you might, unless you know my password. Very true. Right? Yes. So imagine this beautiful body. You know? Can I enter in your body? No. Okay. And that is the beauty. Exactly. You see? When the baby is born, and I have the baby is growing, and I see my grandkids. And the other day, I was watching um, Cam, who was one of my grandson. And as soon as I entered the home, and my daughter-in-law says to him, Oh, Bupa is here. Say him hello. I said, don't worry. Don't say that. Don't let them do what they were doing. See, what are the parents doing? They really try to teach them. They think they're teaching them manners. Or they're really making them prison. They're telling them what to do. And that is... They are making, they, make, they think they own them and the child naturally getting a food and a shelter and they think they have to depend upon them, that their parents. But it's totally wrong because they're taking their privacy. They should leave them alone. Let them play. Because that is the beauty. And as soon as I said and I went to him and then I went to Nia and um, I said, Nia, how are you? She didn't say anything. And then I said, where are you today? She didn't say nothing. And I can see the living godliness in her and in him. You know, each baby has a God. And that God is really, really, the, it is a pregnant God inside of them. But the parents are turned around and try to control them and tell them what to do. And as the child grows, become totally conditioned, totally become a prisoner of the parents as well as the prisoner of the society. And that's why the mind is totally conditioned. And there is technically, there is no privacy left. You know that? And that's bad. We need to leave these kids alone. Let them do what they want to do. They are not, they are super intelligent. I know one of my grandson, Max, and I tell you, the guy is a genius. He's talking from his present. And that's the way they should be. And that is one reason, as we have grown up, we are totally conditioned and we are totally trapped with our mind psychologically, pathologically, and we think they will be looking for a happiness outside. There's nothing there outside. We you got everything. The creator is inside. The creation is inside. Every disease we are creating, we are creating ourselves. Because we are our own enemy. Look at that. We are discussing about prostate cancer. Now, Mitt Romney, he got prostate cancer, diagnosed, and that is by PSA. Then after that, the PSA was high, end up with the prostate biopsy, and end up with the prostate cancer. And you know, the guy looked in his 
but it took a piece of biopsy. Naturally, the pathologist is examining them. Well, he's examining the dead cells. Can he really tell what that cancer cell, what the cancer cell is doing in his body? No. And we are same thing we are poking in our children. We are taking that. What he, did the doctor decide, thought about that, how can he bring his PSA down, first of all, before he sent him to, the, to get a biopsy done? Unfortunately, he ended up with a prostate, prostatectomy, robotic prostatectomy, and the surgeon who did that, bless his heart, and that's the way he's trained. He's totally conditioned too, right? Exactly. And that is the problem. So the, then Warren Buffett, and he ended up prostate cancer, and he ended up with a radiation. Now it's amazing that both got a cancer, whatever stage they are, and both are trying to get cured, and one doctor is a radiotherap radiation therapist, and the other guy is a robotic surgeon. Oh, what's going on? The one says, look, I can cure you with this robotic surgery, and the other says, I can cure you with the radiation. See how fantastically they're playing with their body and they're manipulating the system. And it is all money, it's the dollar. Now, naturally, Mitt Romney's, that system, what we call the search engine, which just like a Google has that, yes. he literally took it out. Every cell has a search engine. If he would have kept the search engine, he could have healed himself. The radiation guy, he damages search engine. Every cell of the prostate gland is damaged. You know this body is so fantastic. It has 5,400 trillion search engines sitting in our body. But nobody explored that. They're just running away from that. They think we got a magic, robotic, we can take it out. And the other guy say we can radiate like a nuclear war. You know, we are all born through our mom and dad. And we talk about how we are born. If one sperm went there and met with the ovum, and we are luckiest people we are born. But nobody is looking at this body. We are looking how mechanically we can handle that. It's just like we're thinking it's like a car. This body is not a car. This is the unlimited infinity, a beautiful biological laboratory, which nobody understands that. And I know myself, being a doctor in the past, and I treated all these prostate problems, prostate cancer, prostate enlargement, and in 1980 to 1984, I had 296 patients. Out of that, 108 patients had a prostate cancer, and 186 patients had prostate enlargement. And they were all treated with what you call that polarizing program, and abdominal pumping and inner locking. They were followed on a weekly basis, and in 90 days, people with the prostate enlargement, they were urinating normally. And not only that, they were sexually active. And the people who had prostate cancer, at that time we used to do a call, the alkaline phosphatase test. We did not have a PSA. PSA came after 1986. And their alkaline phosphatase came normal. And I called Dr. Pierce, who trained me bless his heart and I told him I have changed the treatment plan on prostate enlargement and the cancer he says you remember that I told you you do the least procedure on every man don't damage their prostate you prostate urethra because that's the man need to keep it because that's how you are born that prostate fluid without that you and me would not have born dr. Pierce was a genius and I tell you, he told me, you know, that 
I have some problem and would you kindly tell me what to do? So I told him on the phone what to do. And we had certain differences, but he was very happy when I called him. So anyhow, at the end of the day, we have to learn to take care of that search engine in our body to take care of it. And we have a program for prostate cancer as well as enlargement. Person has to attend what you call four days, three nights. And we encourage to, we have to, they have to bring their wife or a partner. That's important so they don't understand, they both understand each other. Of course, we have we have we will work with their doctor so they understand they can follow them. Going back to the privacy, this body, every cell is unconditionally conscious that they're doing their job. And we have run away from that. We think we are outside trying to cure that cancer, but that inside, if we learn how to become a friend, that cancer is not your enemy. If you become learn how to become a friend, that means you are synchronizing instead of going against that. And that is where the problem is. Exactly. So, anyhow, if you leave these things there and let that privacy and let that person who has this problem make him a conscious, make him awareness, and that's a total different size. It's a total yogic size. It took me 30 years to learn. And I'm here to teach, to help them, so they can live a normal life, happy and healthy. God bless. Namaste. Amen.